Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now we're going to do a range comparison with the Canic TP90 Elite Subcompact versus the Rex Delta. Now I had no intention of doing this, but I posted these rather close to the page on Instagram. A lot of people said that would make a great range comparison. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Let's take a look at the slide length, very close. Rex Delta has a four inch barrel TP9 Elite Subcompact 3.6 inch barrel. You can see they both have striker fire indicators. Okay, those red dots on the back of the slide. And then the Delta grip goes down a little bit further, carries 15 rounds, as where the Canic carries 12. There are so many commonalities with these two guns, but let's start with the TP9 Elite Subcompact. Canic's smallest handgun is right here. It's a subcompact gun, I already mentioned, 3.6 inch barrel, does have front serrations, a pick rail, a very nice trigger that breaks a little over five pounds. Very nice, and a short reset. I already mentioned striker fire indicator, serrated black rear sights, a dot in the front. It is optic ready, making it very nice for those who love optics, and uh, changeable back straps, ambi slide, stop it does have a magazine release on the left side can be switched over 12 round magazines it comes with a holster a cleaning kit my goodness you know it has a, a loaded chamber indicator bar that sticks up i mean it's endless what can it gives you in the case I, I think it's pretty amazing i've got nine rounds loaded up let's go ahead and take a few shots and then we'll check out the delta love it one of the things that makes this very unique is that all you do is pull the tab back a little bit and off comes the slide it doesn't slide off the gun like so many others do you get it in this position here and move it back and it's already reassembled very cool now here we have the rex delta eric's arms came out with a winner here uh, MSRP 399 you know so we look at the the cost of each of these the gun store price it's very similar as well this also has ambidextrous controls both the slide stop and the magazine release 15 round mags you get a couple uh, interchangeable back straps a little different texturing on there a little heavier trigger pull we're looking at closer to six pounds hardly noticeable very short reset Front serrations, serrated black rear sights, front dot, loaded chamber indicator bar. Uh, a phenomenal gun. I love the Rex Delta. It's not optic ready like the Canic is, but this in its own right has so much going for it. Accessory rail. I just, I think it's a great deal for uh, of an MSRP of $399. I hold this gun in high esteem and I couldn't wait to get one. And since I've owned it, I've loved it. All right, one of the things that the Delta offers, very similar to the Canic, is the disassemble. Pull the slide back a little bit, and then it just pops off. Very unique, very cool, and both these are fine handguns. Now, at the end of these videos, I, I usually pick which one I would choose if I had to choose one, and that's what I'm asking the viewers to do, is out of these two handguns, which one would you choose i know eric's arms has the rex zero one and a lot of people haven't warmed up to the delta as much as i thought they would or as much as i have a lot of people love the canic models and for good reason both these are phenomenal handguns if i was a guy who loved red dots on handguns i would certainly choose the tp9 elite subcompact because it offers that but I also like the 15 round mags. It's actually very light with the Rex Delta. And uh, it's actually lighter than the TP9 Sub Elite. So if I had to choose one, it would be so close, but I would take the Delta. I just think this is a fine handgun. I love everything about it. Having said that, and I'm kind of playing the middle of the road here, I don't 
do this intentionally, but these are these are outstanding handguns. I love Canic. I think their handguns are amazing, and I, I love this model as well. So that's what I'm going with. This is not easy for me ever, and um, I want to know which one you would choose. You know, are you a red dot guy? I'm, I'm going to try them again, but uh, right now I, I would take the Delta. I just think it's a fine handgun, and both are excellent guns for the price at your local gun store. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.